Got gonna make a video on some buy zone or buy price targets. Not financial advice, but uh, once again, uh, I'm not a financial advisor. All education is for entertainment purposes only. But um, so I pulled up my uh, weekly buy signal, crypto crazy cowboy dot com buy signal. Uh, ape come up. I'm not a big fan of ape, but it is on a buy signal. Um, Adam looks good. Uh, just because they're set up on a weekly doesn't necessarily mean to buy them right now. You could, theoretically. I wouldn't go all in. A dollar cost average, maybe buy half at the end of today is Sunday, the 4th. August 4th, um, but what I like to do is wait and let those uh, get above a nine-day moving average. Ah, I got the wrong thing pulled up. Um, so my nine-day moving average is this green line. Let me turn everything else off so it won't confuse anybody, but... Um, so, like, you look at, say, Adam on a daily chart. Uh, you know, you can put a trend line across here. I like, I like to put the trend line on a weekly basis. That's my this white line right here. Um, <clears throat> you know, start at the closest top point. Drag it down. Try to get it on one of these top points as your rule of thumb. So ideally, you need price action to close above that, at least on a daily basis. Most of the time, it's going to jump above it, and it's going to retest it like it did right here on this one and two bar. See, it closed above it on this one bar, but then on the two bar, it was right on it, and the three bar went below it, and that continued your downtrend. But here again, TD, sequen TD sequential rule says if you didn't complete your nine count, you usually get one to four bars, reversal and then it continues to the downside which is exactly what it did right there it did it again right here you got four bars what well, continued to the downside so until you complete uh, a nine count to the bottom usually it's not gonna stop going down anytime soon so i would go off a weekly chart you know you need at least nine weeks i think in my opinion Ideally, you need your nine bar to close below this six bar, which you don't have in the case of Adam. So I would anticipate maybe get a one to four bar rally and then it could continue to the downside. So I just be careful with some of these. We're not set up uh, as, as far as the futures go. We're, we're not set up ideally for those yet. Um, so just be careful. I wouldn't go in all in positions. I'm doing maybe half to a quarter of position size. Um, you know, so I, I just be careful on right now. It's it's not optimal conditions. I don't think we will until most likely first of October to the seventh of October. That's uh, that's what I'm going by. So, like I say, my green line is my nine simple moving average. And I want price action to at least close above that. So, in this case, it would be above your weekly trend line. And it would be above your nine simple moving average. I think that's a decent buy point. Uh, if you get that, you, know, you can set an alert on that. Uh, just double click in the black space here. Or right click on your mouse. Uh, click add alert on Adam. I want it crossing up, and then I want to click the price and go to 9 SMA. If you have that added to your chart, it, it should be an option. Uh, and then do once per bar, or you could do once per close, for closing bar, and then just I usually just put 9 SMA buy signal. I like to just copy and paste it twice. Um, Take this out. I mean, it, it kind of says the same thing, but 
whatever's in the message box, that's what it's going to text you if you're set up for text text alerts on tradingview.com. So um, that's the way I do it. You know, you can see what works for you. Do get your own style or whatever. But um, <clears throat> so anyway, I was looking at some of these. You know, where would I put in a buy at? If you held a gun to my head, I put in a bid at 4.205 is where I bid at them. Might round it up to 4.21. Um, like I said, not financial advice, but, you know, you do you. Take care of your own money. This one here, if you want to do ERN, I'd say round it up to $1.63. FTM. Um, see, I'm looking at daily for for entry points. I don't really have one on on the daily. Let's go to a four hour on uh, FTM. You're below your your uh, disqualified risk, so that's not good. Uh, let's see if we got anything on a weekly on FTM. Here we go. Uh, maybe say 34, 35 cents. Uh, you get dollar cost average down to, say, 27, 28 cents, even on down to 17 cents, even as low as 13 cents if you wanted to. You know, I'd put in four or five different orders, and you might get, you know, something. It's not going to go negative, I don't think, but let's say go bankrupt. Uh, let's see what else. You got SNX. Let's go... Yeah, weekly that's getting pretty bad. It might go to a dollar five. I kind of doubt it, but eh, you're below your green zone. There's a dollar five again on SNX. Uh, sushi. Let's see. I think I had some buy zones on it. Let me see. Where was sushi? Here we go. Uh. I had 56, say 56, maybe uh, even 10 cents. If you get 10 cents, that's a pretty good steal but on sushi. But um, Unibot, I don't like Unibot. I've been bid on it. I don't know how many times it's cost me money. But um, this WLD might throw a dollar. 24 something like that um that's about all i got on the scans but <clears throat> let's go to uh let's see what do we got what do we got what do we got avax weekly could go to 1360 uh we got injective i'm actually short bitcoin um, I think you could come down here to this forty-seven thousand zone pretty easy. If it if it closes below this sixty thousand today, that's pretty decent odds that it's going to come down and test that forty-seven thousand next. Could even test forty-two thousand. So I would just anticipate that. Uh, let's see, Doge. A lot of people like to trade Doge. Uh, I'd guesstimate. Maybe eight cents could be seven and a half, seven point seven cents. Could even go as low as five and a half cents. That's where I would throw in some bids, you know, just try to catch it. I mean, nobody knows exactly where it's gonna bottom out. So, you know, you just gotta try to guesstimate where the best uh, value points are. Uh, Ethereum, we got 22.33 and 80 cents. Right below that's 2100. If it loses that, you could probably test uh, 16.75 probably. I don't think it'll go that low, but I mean it might. Uh, let's see, Floki, Floki. I probably throw in whatever. How many? How many zero? Four zeros. Two four nine eight. Something like that. Uh, we already did Phantom, Gala. 
Uh, probably throw in this bottom one, 0 0.01250. I'd round down. This one's 00656. Uh, let's see. We got GMX. I like that. I like that coin. Um, I probably bid this green line right here, 11.59. Might round up 1160. Uh, let's see what else. What else? What else? ILB. I probably bid 29.70. IMX. I bid 58 cents. Injective. I throw in 10.15. And I throw in a 6.82. Might round up to 6.85. Try to snag it. Jupiter. Eventually, Jupiter will be a good one to have, I think, during the next bull run. I'd round up 62 cents on Jupiter. JUV, if you like it. Um, probably $1.27. <clears throat> uh, Kava. I like uh, 19 cents on Kava Link. I throw in a little at 10.80. I throw in another one at 6.10. Might put another bid in at 8.80 on Link LRC. Yeah, it's looking kind of weak. That's negative. I wouldn't mess with that. Uh, LTC decent. It's kind of held support here at 59.70. Magic, Magic's decent, and eh, it's not holding support, but mana, that's old, Matic, uh, man, you might get Matic at 26, 27 cents, uh, could even go as low as 12.80, could go as low as a penny, I mean, over here was your, you know, summer of 23, June of 23, the low here was, 50 cents so most likely it should hold in this 40 50 cent zone i would think ideally probably be lucky to get that 27 cents if you, if you can uh Mattis, maker maker's a decent one uh i probably throw in uh 1150 1151 i throw in another one at 604 that's a, that's a steal if you can get that 604. But MNT, Mantle, I like um, 45 cents and maybe 38 cents, probably. Uh, let's see. Naka, Near, I like Near. Could throw in one right here at 4.10. There's another one at 3.5. One five, and a hail mary bid at a dollar five. <clears throat> That's probably hey, you could even go as low as sixty three cents if you want to, sixty five cents. Uh, and other than, it doesn't hurt to swing for the fences, you know. I mean, if you don't get it, you don't get it. I mean, not not the end of the world, but if you happen to get it, that's that's a home run steal, you know. I mean, if you could get, you know, anywhere around the six uh, OM. Anywhere around a 66, 67, probably really good. I doubt you're going to get in this penny zone, but it just depends on how, how bad things get, you know, here in the next two months. OP. Ondo, I like Ondo, but I don't know. I might try to go in this 75 cent. It's already below that, so that's... That's not going to hold. I'd probably maybe go right here around 60 cents. I'd throw one right there. Uh, I might throw in 42 cents also in that zone. You can get one another one at 50 cents. Uh, like I say, OP. It's got one at $1.15. Another one at a dollar eight. Orca has a dollar thirty-three, maybe ninety-five cents, and triple seven point seven seven seven. I like that. It's a good lucky number. O R N. 
If you want that one, I'd throw in 50 cents. Pepe, a lot of people like to trade Pepe. Uh, all these zeros, 762, round up 25 probably. Uh, worst case, 1605, all the zeros. Per prime, let's go Pyre. Um, 2.18, another one at 211. Uh, let's see, render, everybody likes render. I'd say 395 and 240. Render, render, ruin. Everybody likes ruin. Uh, how about a dollar twenty and ninety-five cents? Sand, seam, say, or whatever, see, or whatever you say. I throw in point one one one. I like that. S fund. I think it'll be it'll be a good one eventually. I throw in maybe 55, 53 cents. Shiba, a lot of people like to trade Shiba. I come down all them zeros to 855, maybe 709. Could even go as low as 411. I don't know. I mean, that's extremely low, but whatever. This one's below all the supports. Uh, it's on a 13, a 9 and a 13. So far, you're not getting a whole lot of price action, but where did SNX, Solana? I probably throw in a Solana at 110.90. In fact, I do have a bid at 110.90. I throw in one at 100.30 maybe. Uh, 92.88, another one at 84.25. That's probably where I would try to bid Solana. Um, STG. It's below all the support zones right now. I don't like that. I just stay away from it. If it's, you know, if it's not easy to spot where support is, you're getting support right in here on STX, dollar forty-four, dollar forty-five. Could dip as low as sixty-seven cents. Suey, let's see. I probably throw in right here at forty-two cents. Super, I'd go. 13 to 11 cents sushi i would bid at 10 cents and i don't think it'll go negative but sushi is set up on a on a weekly basis but i don't think it's quite ready yet tau tao it's below all the support theta i probably throw in uh 62 63 cents Tia I like Tia at 3.77 possibly 3.55 just round up uh, I like ton T-O-N probably bid it 4.60 TRX I like it uh it's actually on a plus seven, which is pretty strong. You might get it at 12. Uh, definitely 11, 10, and another 10 cents. 10 cents, probably a decent, maybe 10.5, 10, 10, 7 cents. I like turbo, turbo moves, 29303. I like that yellow. That's a Larry Williams will stop indicator. That's what that is. As long as it's above that on a weekly basis, that's it's pretty strong. Uh, Ultra, it's kind of hard to buy it, but <clears throat> yeah, there's there's not hardly a lot of good support. Vet, we got uh, twenty four two cents, twenty forty. Uh, you could do 0 .01597. Uh, you could even come down here to point oh, just do a penny, I guess. Don't want a penny. VRA. Uh, probably do 16.92. Could round up 16.95. That's negative. I don't think it'll go negative. But uh, whiff. Let's see what whiff's at. 
It doesn't have much support. It's right on a support line right here. At 1.60. Somewhere in there. Wild. Uh, Wilder World. Probably bid 18 and a half. Might bid 9 or 10 cents. Somewhere in there. XRP. Yeah, it's kind of boring. Uh, as long as it holds this 38, 39 cent zone, it'd probably be all right. I uh, could even throw a 26, 27 cents. Worst case scenario, 13, 14 cents. XTZ. Looks like it might hold 62 cents. Worst case, 43, 43 cents. YGG, if gaming will ever heat up, this one should do good, but uh, you're looking at 19, maybe 20 cents. That's negative, so uh, let's hope it doesn't go to that. But uh, And Zill, Zill can run when it, when it gets hot, it'll run, but for now it's not doing too good. About maybe 0.011. Eight five looks like decent zone. You could throw another one at point oh one two eight one. Another one at that's already below that. That's fourteen cent point oh one four. Yeah, you're already below that. So uh, those are my zones. That's probably what I do. Um, I shorted Ave the other day and the money on it. Um, it just didn't look. I mean, it's it's up on a weekly basis, but. If everything else is rolled over, you're on a nine daily. So that's a pretty easy bet. I'm saying this is probably going to come down for a while. You're below the wheel stop today. If that confirms below that today, that's that's a pretty bearish signal. I don't know if I did Cardano or not. ADA. Uh, let's see where I would buy Cardano. I'm not going to buy Cardano because it's just don't believe in it i'd do 24 cents maybe even as far as 10 cents uh you could throw in another one at 15 there's another one at six cents worst case scenario that's what i do ajix um it's on a six kind of holding sideways might throw in a 59 to 60 cents you got this 45 78 and you got 43.13. Worst case scenario, maybe 25 cents. AIOZ, got another one here at 32, 33 cents. Got 11, 12 cents on a worst case basis. Could even go down to two cents if it wants to. I mean, it just depends on how bad things get. Uh, 10 cents on Algo. Maybe even as low as nine cents. You got uh, six or seven cents right there on disqualified exhaustion down. Um, APT, I don't think I did APT or are we? Uh, let's say 479 to 389 on uh, Aptos, APT, are we? That's Arbitrum. Uh, I'm not seeing any support on Arbitrum. You're already below this zone, below 68, so I don't like that. Uh, our weave, our weave's got some support at 20, $20 even. If it can stay above the wheel stop, uh, but you're on a one count down weekly, so I would anticipate eight, nine weeks of down action. I throw in a bit at 585, throw in another one at 370 throwing another one at 95 cents i try to steal it i mean if you can get some bargains why not <laughs> you know that's, i can't remember if i did avax or not uh probably avax i'd throw in 1360 put in another one at 865 i'd throw in another one at oh that's negative uh that's probably where i'd throw them avax at them Anyway, one inch, if you want to do one inch, eh, 
I'd probably throw in uh, 19 cents. Worst case, 0 0.08. Might just round up 0 0.09 cents, 10. Round it up to 10 cents, something like that. There's another one at, yeah, close to 10, 9.70. So that's what I'm looking at. But and the reason I'm saying all this is the reason I don't have much conviction yet. If you look at the CMEs, the futures on here, and you add Larry's uh, commercial COT indicator on this. Um, I don't know why it's taking so long to load up, but let's try Ethereum. There we go. Um, if you notice, you don't have commercial money in the buy zone. It needs to be above here like it was over here. Uh, or over here, or over here. Especially if you can get this, you know, negative nine count coming down, and ideally if you have money flow, or if you have over oversold conditions on the wheel valve uh perfect condition when you see your your buy signal way up here but well, you're not always going to get everything lined up so in a perfect world i'd probably wait another at least another two weeks one to two weeks on ethereum because that's that could easily come down here and make a nine count like it did here uh doesn't necessarily mean it's going to bounce on that that week but within one to two weeks Theoretically, you usually get a bounce. So uh, now we may not get it. We may have to suffer. You know, like you say, August and September are historically bad months for stocks and crypto. Uh, the middle, you know, I think I think the week of September nineteenth. Uh, there's about a five to seven day window right there that is the worst time of the year for the stock market every year. So just know that going forward to be extremely cautious with your money, 401k. Um, but for the most part, the big money's not heavily invested in Bitcoin. They're not in Ethereum right now. Um, you know, I went through most of the, they're in cotton, but cotton's not bouncing yet. Uh, the dollar index, pretty weak. They're not in the dollar. Um, they're not in gold. They're starting to accumulate gold. They slowly came off the bottom. Um, you go to uh, Lean Hogs, they're in. They're in heavily. See, this is what you want to see right here. You got your nine count. You got heavily invested commercials. And you see what the price did. It's rallied for, what, at least the last four weeks. I should have got in it, but I was—I think I was betting against cattle. I think I was betting against live cattle. Uh, I missed it, but I mean, you can still get in it. Still might make money, but usually after your first four weeks, your odds of success are diminished quite a bit. Copper, they're not in copper. We got a weak economy. There's no reason to invest in copper anytime soon. Heating oil, um, they are in heating oil. I don't know why. Why you would invest in diesel uh, in a weak economy? But I mean, I guess it's summertime. You know, I guess you got, you know, um, this Japanese USD. I know Rand's been talking about that a lot. Uh, they don't track it on this website, but money flows out and it's overbought compared now if you did usd jpy uh that'd be the inverse of this it's it's making money but the jpy usd is i don't know actually it's 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 going up so it's over it's oversold the money flows out and it's overbought so it's a bad time to buy it now but I mean, if you'd have bought it coming off of this area in here off this nine at least you might might could have made some money coffee they're not in coffee that's hit a 913 coffee's going to come down most likely uh, i would anticipate at least this 219 to 216 level maybe even 200 uh live cattle they rolled over hit your nine rolled over came down this week 3.4 percent 
after it rallied last week, the week before, 2.7%. Now you got your confirmed one count down. Most likely you're going to continue a down count like you had over here last fall in the winter time to November. But natural gas, you don't have commercial participation. You do have a 13. Could come down at least another two weeks. Uh, gasoline, they're heavily invested in gasoline. It's coming down still, so I don't know. They could be manipulating that. Sugar, they were heavily invested in sugar right here, but it's not bouncing. Until the price action confirms it, you don't want to play crystal ball, especially with futures. You can lose a lot of money quick. You know, they're not in silver. It's coming down. Um, silver, soybeans. Wheat looked pretty good, actually. Um, come down here to ZW. For the futures, it's set up perfect on a nine count. They're almost in the buy zone right here. They're at 72. Actually, they are in the buy zone, 72.4. I think anything above maybe 74. Is it 74? No, they're not in the buy. Not quite yet. But it's still pretty decent odds that wheat's going to go up for a while. Uh, the Dow Jones futures, they've started to accumulate, but... They're not heavily invested yet. This is probably going to top out, I think, next week or two at the most. You've already hit a 13. If that completes your 8 or 9 count, I think you're probably going to roll over. Bonds, they're not in bonds, even though bonds are going went up pretty sharp last week, almost 5%. Um, that's some decent heavy money probably going in. It could be the public, could be hedge funds. Corn, corn set up pretty good. It's actually one of the best set up. They're heavily invested. You hit your nine. Uh, you've got your bubble right here. You got heavy money flow, oversold, good value. Uh, I've got a standing bid in for corn. I should have got it filled, but my broker canceled my order when the new month started. So, uh, soybean oil, it doesn't look good. Soybean meal, same thing. You do have a 913. That's really good odds on that. It did go up last week. No, it actually went down a little bit. It rallied off of this doji tail, though. So that I would I would guess to make that probably goes up in the next few weeks. Soybean meal. Uh, oats. Uh, yeah, they're heavy on the oats on the oats, but they're not set up perfect yet. I'd say it could go down another two or three weeks. Or at least sideways accumulation most likely. But soybeans, uh, you got your 913 on soybeans. They're heavily invested. Oversold. You got good money flow. It's about as good as it gets. If you get any kind of up action on soybeans next week, uh, I would I'd take that. You could buy the ETF, S-O-Y-B, or on wheat, you could buy a W-E-A-T on a regular, you know, stock trading account, and you could play the futures that way. I wouldn't hold it long term. You know, I'd say maybe three or four weeks, eight, nine weeks at the most, and wheat and soybeans should do fairly well near short term, but that's about all I got. Uh, I try to keep this under 30 minutes or so, but uh, so just, you know, write these levels down, watch it a few times, hit the like, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, share it with all your family and friends, social media. Try to get the word out. Maybe we can all get rich together. We'll catch y'all later.